Hi everyone, I'm Gary Chavez and we're here at Origins 2018 and I'm sitting here with Mandy and Jordan Goddard and they're going to be talking about their new game, Death Note Confrontation. All right guys, tell me about this game. What kind of game is it? Yeah, so uh, Death Note Confrontation is, uh, well it's based on uh, Death Note, which is a popular anime and Netflix movie and manga. Uh, it's got a whole universe. Uh, this is a two-player asymmetrical uh, deduction, kind of dice deduction game that is primarily played out in two notebooks. So each player has their own notebook and um, and it's uh, basically you take the role of either Kira, if you know the program, he's the killer, and L, if you know the story, he's the detective. And the detective tries to find out where Kira uh, lives and, and where he's committing his or where he's uh, doing his uh, killing from. And Kira is trying to rid the world of criminals while trying to stay a step ahead of Detective L. So yeah, that's the idea. Okay, how long does the gameplay last? So gameplay is 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, okay. um, if you're learning game, maybe a little bit longer than that, but it stays pretty tight. It's 20 minutes. Okay. What well, what inspired uh, this game? Well, the show actually. Okay. I mean, it, well, it's interesting because as game designers, we kind of start the process of designing a game in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he'll just come up with a crazy component, and we build out a whole game around <laughs> yeah. a component. And uh -huh. you know, sometimes it's just an idea of we think this would be a fun game. Uh, but in this case, actually, the publisher IDW got the rights to the Death Note property and uh -huh. wanted to make a game around it and reached out to see if we had any ideas on what would make a good okay, game for great. the show. Uh -huh. So we uh, loved the idea because, you know, in watching the show, the characters are always kind of like trying to outsmart each other, get into each other's head. Mm -hmm. um, and so it just kind of lends itself perfectly to a two-player game where you're trying to outwit sure. or outsmart the other player. Uh -huh. So we loved the idea right away uh, at, you know, trying to kind of challenge ourselves to come up with a game that would take the characters of the show and give you a chance to kind of play out what they do during the series. Okay. So it's just, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know. How long is, how long have you been working on this? Um, we started in earnest so basically like a year ago today, right? Okay. So it was, yeah. it was like Friday of Origins last year. Oh, really? Um, like almost literally a year ago so today. So mm -hmm. IDW talked to you, you, you ran into them at here and they started talking to you about it? Well, um, well so we've known the team over there for a little while and um, when it came, when they got the property, they reached out to some designers and just said, "Do you have any ideas?" Oh, okay. Uh, we, uh, you know, pitched the idea to them, and it was one that they liked and let us kind of run with. So. Okay, great. Yeah. How long have you two been designing? Oh yeah. gosh, uh, five years, four okay. years. Okay. Yeah, I mean, pretty much when we started dating, we started really oh, okay. getting into playing games together a whole lot, and then it really wasn't long to that that we started designing. I think our first uh, first game was actually released in 2014. Mm -hmm. So four years. But then designing probably a year before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And how many games have kickstarted or published or what primarily do you do you do you publish them, you kickstart them or do both? We've done both. Okay. Um, we kickstarted our first game. Uh, collapse. Um, then we went with a publisher. So we worked with Renegade on Lotus. Um, that was a phenomenal experience. And so I, once we had that experience, we were like, well, we don't want to kickstart anything anymore. Like, this is way better. <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of just, risk. There's yeah. a lot They're of work great, sure. great team to work yeah. with and all of that stuff. And so uh, that, that gave us a really great taste of that. So we've been pursuing publisher relationships since that, mostly okay. because it lets us do what we love to do the, the most. Focus on design. Um, right. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, how many games is that that you? Uh, that's there? three that are out and and you can buy, okay. or in the pipeline for okay. another day. Uh huh. So this is I, this is the first interview I had with with a, a married couple. Um, how does how does the design relationship work? Is there is there something that you do more? Design. Something that you do more, or you, we just clash on everything? No, <laughs> we do a pretty different role. We have very different skill sets. Uh huh. He, I would consider him more of the creative type. Okay. He is typically the one that comes up with the ideas in general, or way too many ideas that we can't even get through them all. <laughs> uh, I am a lot more process driven. I'm a okay. project manager uh -huh. by day, and sure. so I. I kind of think more logically, and I 
I would say that I spend more time on balancing the game and making sure that the rules are written in a way that people can understand, where he is more about what can we do really creatively with components or mechanics that we just haven't seen before mm -hmm. that people would enjoy. I don't know that she, yeah, she doesn't give herself enough credit with the creative piece because about, about once a week we'll come across a problem that we just can't solve and she has really great creative insights to that, but she is process driven. She'll say from time to time that, uh, we wouldn't start anything if it weren't for me, and we'd never finish anything if it weren't for her. <laughs> okay. Which is pretty yeah. interesting. Uh -huh. yeah. So, is, do you set aside time for work on games, or do you just on the drive home, on uh, oh, during yeah. dinner, All anytime, the anywhere? All of the above. Okay. There's, we've gotten into a routine. We, so, we go on two walks a day. We do a walk for breakfast or right around morning time, and then a walk after dinner, and those are great game design times. Uh -huh. um, and then, aside from that, when the baby goes to sleep, that's our time to, to work on ideas. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a constant source of being able to spend together time without a TV on, and we can share ideas uh -huh. and work creatively with one another. So it's been a really good fit. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, is there an advantage? I've I've interviewed uh, teams of uh, all male or all female. Do you think there's an advantage having a male and female getting both male and per female perspective in one? Oh, female. What do you think? Um. I guess possibly, you uh -huh. know, because we're able to kind of think about the full market, you know, sure. everybody that might come up, come across our game and whether they would like it or not. Um, I don't know. I think it probably comes down more to the skill sets we bring, and I think we make a good partnership because we sort of have very different sides, of our, you know, in terms of what we're yeah. good at. Mm -hmm. So we can we know when to say, okay, this is probably your area. Mm -hmm. I'll, kind of let you choose the, the final decision there. So I don't know if it has to do with being female and male, more just skill sets. Yeah, just different, I would, I would different skill sets. sets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what are, what are your future plans? Are you going to continue to do this? Or what's the future plans for uh, Death Note? Uh, that's a great question. So uh, the future plans for Death Note are kind of all sewn up. Uh, we've got, uh, well, it's kind of, it's, it's here at the show. This is not a final copy. This is our working copy. Okay. But it's here at the show. The only copy that's in the U.S. is here somewhere. We've not <laughs> seen it yet. Uh, so yeah. if you see it before us, uh -huh. tell us how it looks. Uh, but we've seen all of the pictures. You know, we've just not held it yet. Um, but it's, it's matriculating, and it should um, it should be in stores in early, early July. July. Yeah. Okay. In the next few weeks, okay. uh, you'd be able to go out and buy it in mass. But, Okay. Is there yeah. a website or anything that uh, it's on Board Game Geek and it's on Board Game. Okay. Uh, IDW has an announcement page mm -hmm. uh, that kind of gives some details and some images. Mm -hmm. um, so if you go to IDW proper, if you search Death Note confrontation or just search Death Note board game, there's quite a few people have written about it. So it's like you can find stuff, mm -hmm. um, but it, they're basically all quoting the same press release. Mm -hmm. So as interviews start to kind of trickle out of this conference, there'll be more, I guess, to, to learn. Mm -hmm. Is there a website that they can? People can follow what you two are doing specifically. I don't know, Mandy. Is there? Uh, we do have a website. Okay. It's JordanandMandy.com. Okay. Uh, I will. Is say, that games or is that just everything that no, Jordan no, and Mandy it's does? Games. <laughs> it's, it's not a great our, website. It's just our games. Okay. We, we often blame each other for how terrible the website is because <laughs> yeah. I think he should fix it and he yeah. thinks I should fix it. Yeah. yeah. So you will see background on us and links to our games. Okay. But there's not much there. Okay. But, just to work. Someday Mandy will fix it. Someday it'll, it'll be, be a great. You guys seem to be doing website. fine with the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, if you if found us broke, by our website, you're doing it wrong. We've had three visits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if you were to meet a new designer, uh, what could you, what would you tell, what could advice would you give them have, having gone through these processes of making these several games? I think, can we give you two different answers? Uh, of course. Okay. Um, do you have yours ready? No. <laughs> yeah. um, I would say give yourself the luxury of time to step back away from it and, mm -hmm. and really see it new a couple of times during the process. So, you know, we all work on deadlines. I get that. You have a show coming up or you have a, you know, a sure. publisher deadline, and I get that. But give yourself the luxury of time to work on it, put it away for a weekend, a month, whatever you need, and come back fresh to it. Uh, also, give yourself some time to think about it when the game's not in front of you. So we take our walks twice a day. Yeah. Those walks are mostly game design walks. Mm -hmm. Some of our best ideas have come when we don't 
have the restriction of what we've made in front of us that we can think abstractly. Oh, okay. We're moving, we're out in a different space, we're creatively different. Um, so give yourself, you know, a new space and then some distance from your project once in a while. And okay. You'd be surprised at how much you can solve with just those yeah. two things. Yeah, I mean, I would add just to share early prototypes with mm -hmm. friends or other game designers. And that was really hard for me because I'm the kind of person that wants something 100% complete <laughs> and sure. perfected and uh -huh. something I know is strong before sharing it with even my best friend. You know, I don't want to I don't want to show any mistakes sure. or, you know, vulnerability, I guess. Mm -hmm. He would post things to social media when it was just a concept and say, yeah. what do you guys think about this idea? Uh -huh. And a lot of people will hesitate to do that because, A, they're like me and don't want to show any, you know, imperfections uh -huh. or B they're afraid someone's going to steal their idea mm -hmm. and really we've not found that to be the case people aren't out there just yeah. trying to steal mm -hmm. each other's ideas they really want to help each other out sure so we posted a lot to um, you know board game threads on reddit or board game groups on Facebook okay just saying you know we're working on this concept and we got ideas for names for our game or mm -hmm. um, different you know artistic like illustrations Mechanics, which directions. which illustrations do you like better just stuff like that that we were working through early on mm -hmm. and that was amazing what kind of feedback we got okay so i would say yeah i mean in addition to kind of working through that process and giving yourself the time to take a break from it be willing to get people's feedback early on mm -hmm. even if it's not ready to show okay oh can i add another one uh, of course uh -oh, uh -oh, here we go. <laughs> when you're getting that feedback Try to listen. Sure. But listen to the problem. Don't always listen to the solution. And here's what I mean by that. This is really helpful because we do a lot of prototyping events. And mm -hmm. almost always, if, a, if two or three people play your game say, this is wrong, they're probably right. Mm -hmm. They will usually follow that up with, here's how you can fix it. Mm -hmm. That part is usually wrong. Not because they don't care, not because they're not smart because they haven't lived in the game as long as you have. So when somebody identifies a problem, listen to them, they are right. And yeah. then go home and work on what that solution should look like. Take their input, don't defend the game immediately, um, as tempting yeah. as that is. Yeah. But I think those, no, that's, that's really helpful, like listen to people. If you okay. ask them to play, like listen to them, but also be aware of, you know the game better than they do. For okay. sure. All right, so the game is Death Note uh, Confrontation. Yes. Uh, if you want to keep up with you, Mandy and Jordan. Jordan and Mandy. Jordan and Mandy. Dot com. Dot com. Yep. We should All buy right. the other one just to be just safe. Just in case. Maybe that website will not sign. <laughs> Jordan first. <laughs> All right, Mandy. Yeah. Jordan, and thank you for thank wearing you. shirts that have your names on them. <laughs> Makes it much easier. Thanks, guys, for a great interview. Yep. Thank, hey, you. thank you, guys.